Here are some of my uh, VFOs I've built. Uh, one's from the Cambridge and District Amateur Radio Club. Brought it on the internet. And I uh, just love making things. So I thought I'd get this one. And uh, good old eBay. And here it is built. Come in kit form. Yeah, it's all in kit form. Took me quite a few hours to build it. Um, the little coil there, the little winding coil there, took a long while to to wind. But it all works. I'll demonstrate it working in a minute on my transistor radio. Uh, a few other little projects I tried. It all worked. Well, this one worked okay. This is uh, one of my first builds. Same principle, same VFO. And this is the second one I built. Virtually the same one. Bits out of the scrap box and bits out of uh, old radios and oh dear. But, so I enjoyed doing it. We'll demonstrate that one in a minute. This one's out of the um, intermediate book, but never got it to work. I'm doing a, a 2-0 course at the moment, and I've been told that this one didn't work anyway. So I have to work out one day why that one doesn't work. Okay, we'll run. Um, put that one back there, and we'll switch it on in a second. Right, let's be right little transistor radio. So let's switch that on. It's on uh, 54, no, 3540 in the 80 meter band. Let's tune this there. There you go. That's all working. And this one here, I built, we got a battery on that one, so we'll show you that one working. Bit awkward one hand, isn't it? When you're holding the camera, holding the camera with the other hand. Dear, oh dear. That one's working, and the other one works as well. Uh, this one, I do like this one, I built. To say, come off eBay, and uh, I'm uh, well pleased with this one. I really am. Thanks for looking.